Aaron Hills, look, Brooks Kepka made it look pretty easy in 2017, so that was one of the uh, goals to explore out here. Well, you know, what would I shoot from the back tee? Some kind of a reformed, mediocre professional golfer, play a little better than scratch right now. Send me to the back tees what happens and on the card the back tees are like 77 31 i think but they can there's a golf course that exists well beyond those so i don't know we must have played something right around 8,000 yards Aaron hills x is what i think it should be called <laughs> this is... was uh, yeah this was the off score card Aaron hills I had a good look for birdie on the first hole, which is a gettable par five, which I think the pros might have played as the easiest hole in the US Open. But what's hard about Aaron Hills is first and foremost, the length from back there, from all the way back. Like length is just a limiting factor. And then visually it's tough because there's room out there. There's room out there, but there's actually a little bit more room than it seems like because the sight lines off the tee are a little tricky. There's fescue everywhere it's hard to feel completely comfortable over tee shots. And then I would say like the just constant steady winds kind of play tricks with you. So you have to pick a, a sight line where you're gonna have to start the ball over the middle of the fescue and, and then just trust that it's gonna come back. My first birdie came on number two where I actually shorted a wedge shot. It's this nice, easy, short par four, probably one of the easier holes on the course. I thought I hit a good wedge shot and instead, you know, it caught the front slope and, and ripped back off. So I was left with a really tricky chip shot. If it hadn't hit the hole, who knows, maybe it would have gone off the green on the other side because it was so downhill, but I'll take it. shots have been driver, driver, three wood, all off upslopes. Pretty long golf course. Law, it's beefy. My second birdie of the day came in dubious circumstances. My playing partner, Sean Zock, found my ball after a couple minutes of searching in some pretty thick fescue. There was just enough space behind the ball to kind of hack away at it. The viewers should know you found my ball at probably about the two minute and 30 second mark. I don't know, I'm not here to say you improved or did not improve my lie, but I appreciate whatever you did. I kind of opened up a seven iron, hacked something down the fairway. And what's fun about Aaron Hills is you know, for better or worse, you are going to get these mounding slopes that are going to work your ball. And in this case, rolled up to 10 or 12 feet and made the putt. Things were going really well. You know, if you ever have one of those rounds where you're just scoring a little bit better than you should be, this was that day, you know, the chip in on two, uh, finding golf balls in the fescue everywhere, capping it off with a birdie on 12 that could have easily been a lost golf ball. And golf usually kind of collects, you know. Eventually, the house is always gonna win. And that is what happened on number 14. Yeah. All right, well. Are you going to ruin put, your round? I think so. I think it already did it. This is sad. You hate to see it, but... The man walking. I mean... Be here uh, 
wound up being a, a double bogey and you know dreams of even par quickly disappeared fatigue i think was setting in there were a lot of different factors but i think it really it was just like the house eventually that edge is always going to take over i was wiped our caddy was saying you get an average of about nine miles of walking if you do 18 holes from you know some of the back tees here it definitely felt that way. I mean, there driving in, there was literally a ski mountain. I mean, it's Wisconsin, so we're kind of grading on a curve here. But there was a little, you know, chairlift, I think, just a couple miles away. And that's when I started to think, oh, maybe there are some slopes out here. So we did some ups and down. It's one of the biggest properties I could ever imagine a golf course existing on. So, yeah, you get your steps in.